Hey everyone, just before we start, uh, I just want to mention that I am using some custom, for example, custom UI or custom radial menus, but really nothing drastic. The, the only drastic thing that, even though it's not a drastic really, that I have or changed is my V shortcut, which is basically the navigation from here, or at least the part of it. Um, you will see later in the videos how I use this, but um, this changed a lot, a lot of things actually. But let's let's start with modeling. And for the start, we're gonna start with. Let me just put this here quickly with this big sphere. Okay. So I'll, I will just move this on side. So let's begin with creating uh, just a normal sphere. Okay. And now, first time that I will use V is right now, because now I'm on the object level, right? And I want to dive in, so I can dive in via the shortcut. I can turn this. And then here I will put 64, the golden numbers. 32, 64, 128, 16, 8, and so on. So... Now what I will do, I will just select, so from here to there, and then let's see, from here to there, and now let's delete it. Lead and select it. And I believe when looking at the reference image, we don't really need even these two. Okay. So we can start working from here. Next thing I will do, I'll just extrude the start and then S shift G to select everything. And now I will just add a subdivide. Now here, I want to make sure that this uh, is not that soft, this transition. So what I can do, I can go to Poly Extrude. Go to Edge Loops. Add Edge Loop here. Press Q. Add here. Press Down and boom. Now, if you wonder what happened, uh, what happened is that I am actually using Page Up and Page Down. On my keyboard so you can see that my mouse is in the viewport but when i press page up and page down if you look in the network you will see that the selected uh, nodes are changing so page up page down right now the thing is i'm not using the keyboard for that i'm actually using my keyboard mouse which is uh this one just show you quickly So here, uh, when I'm using Houdini, these two buttons becomes page up and page down, and then this horizontal scroll is home and end, which actually, um, when you're using that horizontal scroll, in my case, I'm jumping to first and last node in the network. So this is really important, that's why I'm mentioning, mentioning it. Um, it. It just gives you so much more speed. Um, so yeah, you will not see me clicking on the nodes in the node network, but just most of the time using the shortcuts. Okay, I think that's that's nice. So again, I can press N to select everything, and then I will just duplicate and move pivot to zero on Y. And now I will just slightly move this. Now what I can also do is change the handle parameters. In this case, if I'm using control to move, then I can incrementally move um, whatever I have duplicated. And this incremental setting is basically here. So, oh, sorry, angle step here. And I will just put it to one. So when I press and hold control modifier and basically, as you can see, um, rotating around, we can see this inner circle and it's all pretty much integer values. 
what I actually want. Okay. Let's go out. I'm I'm happy with that. Now I can use the expression to be very precise, but I don't wanna. I just try to do this quickly as possible. So now instead of going here and changing total numbers, what we can actually do and something that majority of people don't know is that all these gizmos are basically position sensitive. So what I mean by that is if, and, and duplicate is really a good example or a copy note or so, is if, for example, if I'm uh, press and holding middle mouse button here, this is what I'm doing. So I'm translating, right? If I'm here, I'm translating in, in another way and if I'm here or whatever. But if I'm here, okay, if I'm somewhere here, you're actually increasing total number. So I don't have to go into the parameter editor to change the settings, okay? So I can do all of this from the viewport and then if I need a smoother rotation, I just press and hold shift and then rotating. And I, I, I can say that this is really good enough. Um, that is cool. 